In this video, we're going to learn how to batch process an action. Batch processing is really cool because it runs your action on an entire folder of images or files instead of having to open each image or file individually, run the action, and save it. So it can save you a lot of time if you have to run an action on a lot of files. So we are going to convert a 12 by 12 book to a 10 by 10 book in this tutorial. We provide an action with our White House books that will resize the pages to a 10 by 10 for you if you would like to order a 10 by 10 book. So that's what we're going to do. So on our desktop we have our folder of 12 by 12 book pages. We've already added our pictures to it. It's ready to go. We just need to make it a 10 by 10. So we are going to create a new folder and we'll just call it 10 by 10 pages. This is where our newly resized pages are going to be housed when the action finishes running. So we need to launch Photoshop, go to File, Automate, Batch, and in the top section under Play we need to choose the set that the action is in that we want to play, so that will be our 12 by 12 to 10 by 10 book resizing actions and then below it choose the actual action. That's the only action in the set, so of course that one shows up 12 by 12 to 10 by 10 book. Under source, make sure that folder is selected. Then we're going to click on choose and we're going to choose our folder of 12 by 12 book pages. Choose. Under destination, also make sure that folder is selected. Choose. And we're going to choose the new folder that we just made for the 10 by 10 pages. On both of these, make sure that the very top checkbox is checked. That's very important. So under source, you're going to make sure override action open commands is checked. And under destination, you're going to make sure override action save as commands is checked. So after you've chosen your folders, press OK. And Photoshop is going to start opening your 12 by 12 pages, resizing them to 10 by 10, and then saving them as a copy and putting them into your new folder. Okay, we paused the video while Photoshop finished resizing all our pages. I just wanted you to see that when the action is finished, you will now have your 12 by 12 folder of pages, just like it was before. And then in the new folder that you made for the 10 by 10 pages, you have all your fully layered resized pages. So if you need to go in and switch out a photo, you can still do that.